we have seen we have used annotations so far like uh, http get this is one annotation we used other annotations also string length so those we were using for validators now we can learn the steps required for creating your own annotations because every annotation is not available and especially in the current project i'll show you one problem then we'll solve it by writing a custom annotation for that first of all let me take you to the problem this is the current project let us run it this is what we get click at it change it to software i'm changing it to software order changing it to 100 click on save it is correctly edited here the problem is when you again click this edit you can see it is showing the older value m order 300 it is showing the older value now does it mean that database was not updated you can check that data days database was actually updated how can we check that first i close it refresh it it remains the same this means database was correctly updated it also means this was correctly updated but the problem is a caching that is occurring on the server side this problem you will notice when you use internet explorer this problem will not be there when you use chrome Internet Explorer is caching the request. So when you call the same function on clicking edit, you are calling the same function ajax edit and the results are already cached so it is returning you the information from the cache. As a result even though database is updated correctly this is also updated correctly but the caching is causing this whole story to go wrong our objective is right now to prevent caching for this there is no annotation available so we have to write our own annotation here we'll see how to do that this is our project click on the solution explorer right click first of all add a new folder and I generally give it name utility so that it contains my utility classes and here I'll add a class for my custom annotation my attribute classes should end with attribute so I'll right click add class I'm giving it the name no cache attribute and click add my attribute will be called no cache and the class is no cache attribute you must always suffix this attribute to the name of your annotation I'll fold it backwards all our attributes they should inherit from a action filter attribute this is the parent class for all your attributes 
so I have to now add that uh, so I have added system.web.mbc at the top I have to override one method on result executing it receives a filter context and here I can do whatever custom writing programming I can in this case my objective is to prevent caching so I can use filter context to reach the HTTP context and from there I'll reach the request and response and write the functions for preventing caching for example filter context dot HTTP context dot response dot cache dot expires this this sets the expiry date to the past I'll write everything on the earth which is negative towards caching set validate valid until expires false set revalidation all the standard functions as we know from ASP.NET that prevent caching I have just put them in one bundle and finally base dot on result executing passing it to the parent class this is all I have to do my no cache attribute class will do all filtering for me it will simply prevent all caching now I can come and apply it to my controller which controller is misfiring it is this one this action is misfiring Ajax edit when somebody calls that Ajax edit again it is caching so to prevent caching I'll just put here no cache from here no cache it will need resolution so right click resolve using utility and here it is so whenever you want to write your own filters you can use the filter context to reach the response or request whatever you want and you can write all your code there and it will actually do the whole story for you so you can go through the documentation in detail but this is one way we required in this particular case to prevent caching so we have added a no cache attribute here now let us run it and see the results now let me click on edit I'll change it to laptop uh, something has gone wrong let me refresh it first click on edit mobile no I have to build rebuild that build rebuild solution and now I'll run it click on edit and it brings software software order and I'll change it to mobile and write mobile order and change the currency to 200 and save it it has updated now I should click on edit and when I click on edit I should find these values rather than the cached ones and you can see that now this time no caching has took place you can keep on changing it as many times as you like change it to software click on edit again so this time no caching is occurring so this is what how we used a no cache custom attribute to prevent caching of the story this is the general way that you can write I want to talk more in detail about action filter attribute class so here is the theory about it you can use this class to do tasks before the action method on which you put that custom attribute this is action method you have put a custom attribute called x 
and it returns an action result. Suppose this is the class X that I am writing for my custom attribute. If I write on, if I override on action executed, then the code inside that will be run after this action method is executed. On action executing will run before the action method is executed. Similarly, result executed and result executing they occur at the time the action result instance is created and about to be returned to the caller. I have written action result but it is normally you write it like this return view or partial view or JSON. So before the actual view class is in the view is being returned to the caller the code inside this will be called. When the view has been sent to the caller this. Before the action method is called this and after the action method has been called that is your inside it and just before this return then executing. This means you can use these four overrides appropriately to do logging like when when this action method is called whenever it is called you can put a filter on it and you can do some database update or whatever you want that logging is possible authorization is also possible whether the user has permissions or not And you can also prevent caching just like we prevented caching by overriding this one, executing. So that the HTTP headers, they, they, are at, they, they do not contain the code for caching, they disable the caching. So these are the four methods that you can use to execute code, your custom code before or after the action method is called, before or after the result is being returned. So mainly you can use for logging, you can use for caching, you can use for authentication. So these are the various uses of writing your own action filters. You can use custom filters for authorization. Here I have drawn a schematic. You can create a custom attribute called auth attribute. So I will spell it a bit correctly. It is a u t h auth attribute that I have written here. It should inherit from action filter attribute class. You will override on action executing. That is before the action is executed. So supposing you want a certain action that it should be run only by administrators. That that particular action cannot be run by any other except administrator. So here inside here you can check session just like we obtained request object there we can use uh, the request and responses for uh, reading the session and once this session variable let us say it contains a level property session level and once that level doesn't uh, belong to an administrator, we can write the response dot redirect code to, to redirect the person to the login page. That action will never be 
executed so this way you can because inside this body you have request and response both of them are available to you and you can use them in whatever way to read the session to perform the redirects whatever so the only thing is that you have to create a custom class and override on action executing this is one example i have given so for details you can refer to the documentation this is the general concept behind the story so i'll close it right now